Okay, so what we've got here um, is two stepper motors joined together. And the idea of this was that it was going to sort of represent or um, imitate a mud skipper, like a little fish that moves along on its fins, along the mud, uh, sort of pulls itself along using its fins. Um, and it does work to some extent, so when I move the potentiometer, it does start to sort of move along a little bit. There is movement there. Um, it's, weighed, it's restricted by the cables a little bit, so I think with longer cables it'll be better. So it is working. So we'll, come, we'll talk about a sort of change of plan in a minute. It goes faster as I turn the potential with more and it slows down. Okay, so that was going to be the mud skipper. Um, I also had this robotic toothbrush. So when the vibration motor was activated, um, this thing sort of moved around like this and it did work. It worked quite well as a, as a video to show it. Um, once again, some sort of fairly long wires there. That was activated by an FSR. So when I pressed down on the FSR, um, the faster it would move around. Okay, but what I've decided is I mean, all this this, this works. Um, it's not aesthetically pleasing, and because of the nature of the the motors, the sort of very low power motors, um, they're not really beefy enough to do what I want because they're, they're restricted by the weight of the wires and the length of the wires is holding everything back. The wires, um, it'd be better if it was wireless, it is, it, obviously that'd be quite difficult, but the wires are causing a problem, everything's not working quite how I'd want it to and aesthetically it's not great. So I'm going to change plan completely. So I'm going to call this sort of, uh, you know, Attempt one, um, but I think I'm going to abandon this project. Uh, I might come back to it at some point in the future, but I think for um, the end of term project, I need something uh, that's more contained, less spread out, um, and simple but effective. So we're going to go for another plan, still using stepper motors, still using maybe a light sensor, still using. Uh, a proximity sensor, but something more compact um, and hopefully more aesthetic. So that will be the next video coming up.